Alfred, thanks very, very much, very much as for such an engagement, you know, with the man of the day. We get to win it something different. Well, when you get to talk about business, of course, entrepreneurship in Kenya, that's something that usually prompts into your mind. Talk about fashion and design. Well, this morning, we get to have a look at fashion and design and how it's taking preeminence in the business sector. Well, I don't know how much it may have dominated in the GDP, but what I know is it's really taking its place. Well, this morning, I'm joined by a young lady called Anne with her. She gets to talk to us about what she does and exactly. Let's do this. Anne, you're most welcome. Thank you so you much. You are the CEO, the founder, and everything else that we can mention about Anne John Fashion Creation. Yes, I am. So tell us, who is Anne John Fashion Creations? My name is Anne Waitera. Mm -hmm. I'm the CEO of Anne John Fashion Creation. This is a brand where we create designs, we make, we stitch according to the client's taste and even our own desires. All right, stitch, make, oh, these things yeah. according to client's taste. And so let's go number one. Clients comes number one. That's it. All right, that's good. Uh, let's talk about uh, the venture that you decided. What prompted you to begin all this that we are seeing right now? I think it all started as a passion, mm -hmm. as something I was really looking forward to do. And when I knew I had a passion for fashion, I went to school. Right. I did a diploma in fashion and design. And after that, I felt the need to be my own boss, right. to create my own designs, to be the change I wanted to see through the fashion industry mm -hmm. and through what I love doing. And that's how I came up with the brand mm -hmm. and John Fashion Creation. That's what I've been doing and it's pretty doing well. I can say it's doing well. Wow, I love it. Yeah. I love it, especially with what you're doing and everyone can attest by the good work that you're seeing. Mm -hmm. Right now, uh, Anne, you said that you went to class. Yeah. You did fashion and design. Yes. As a career by itself. Yes. What prompted you to go to, because not people, not many would even think of it. People are thinking of doctors or lawyers. I think uh, before I cleared high school, mm -hmm. I was confused of what I could do because everyone out there was like, I want to do this, I want to do this. But for me, I was empty. But I prayed to God and I told God, give me something, be it hard or simple, mm -hmm. I'll do it passionately. Then after that, that's when I, f I started feeling something fashion. I started researching. Mm -hmm. I could visit tailors from my home. I could buy them materials. I could go and cut them into design and I could display them in a book. That's right. how I started. And eventually it, grow, it has grown up to here. So for records, you can say it's a passion that came along Yeah, it's that. a passion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. I love, I love when people say it's a passion because business is sustained by passion yeah. when you have the grace to continue. For how long have you been in this business? This is my second year, mm -hmm. I can say. Right. Because I graduated 2017. Mm -hmm. Then 2018, I... I felt the need to open my own shop and do it, continue doing it, yeah. Were you employed before? No. So you were just at I home? I was just at, at home because my machine was at home. I could do it at home. Mm -hmm. I could get clients at home, but it was slow because not everyone knew me. So I felt the need to go out and make myself known. Yeah. All right, so you decided to venture out and to launch it now to the wider spaces. Yeah. But when at home, what were you thinking before you even went into the industry by itself? I think I was planning mm -hmm. on how to do it and another thing I did, I opened a page mm -hmm. where I could post my outfits, the right. design I've made to get clients, to get views, even though it took time, eventually I, people liked it mm -hmm. and people were like, they are interested, they want to know, they want to know who is this, they want to know the design and yeah. Roughly an estimated time, Lona, like, you time you could struggle, trying to launch mm -hmm. out into the market. How, how, like, span I think, again? like, eight months. Eight months. Before the page, like, got people, like, to engage, because when I opened it, <coughs> I didn't have many, like, I had 46 likes, and people used to, mm -hmm. to tell me, share it, share it, but people still, they didn't know it, but eventually I could still be patient, I could still continue posting things. Mm -hmm. I believed in myself. Mm -hmm. And All right. Uh, and let's talk a little bit about marketing. Mm -hmm. You've talked about uh, your way of entering to the market through the media, social media. Mm -hmm. Do you think marketing is one of the things that we need to emphasize on when you're opening a brand? Yes. Mm -hmm. You have to, to, to base your products mm -hmm. according to the market. And you have to look for market for your own products. You have to, to the product that you have, you have to set targets. Mm -hmm. like to those people who are, you are targeting, through your competitors, through the people around you. And, that, and that's how I did it. I first checked the surrounding where right. I was, 
the people, my friends, if they are young, and most of them they are young people. So mm. I did something like they would like it. So that's how I got market and I'm still looking for it. Hey. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Guys, it's time that we get to learn. Lesson number two, research. Get to know what exactly you want in the marketplace and get, of course, to diversify everything that you really want. And, and when you say about the two years that you've been in the market, mm -hmm. how would you tell the market is right now? Kwabiashara, are things really happening okay? I think the fashion industry is very competitive. Mm -hmm. You have to work hard to mm -hmm. push your product because especially when you are doing it online, on social media because most people they don't have genuine things so whatever you post you have to make sure if someone tells you i want this you have to deliver yes right yeah so you have so to you have to, yeah you have mm. to like you have to work hard mm -hmm. to push your product you have to be patient and at the same time you have to be genuine all right what has sustained you all along for the two years since the market is really flooded with all these kind of yeah. designs what has really sustained you I think the fact that it's my passion, mm -hmm. I love doing it mm -hmm. and every day. And when I look back, I think they have, mm -hmm. the far I've come, I think I can't go back. You're not from the same point that yes. you are when you're beginning. So every day it's a new challenge, mm -hmm. it's a new opportunity for me to do it. And when people like it, I'm like, I can't quit. Mm -hmm. I have to keep on doing it. Definitely. Yeah. How, is the, how, how is the market as you feel like, is any passion, mm -hmm. it's a business tea? I think... It's not bad and it's not that good. Mm -hmm. You have to work with, with it the mm -hmm. way it is because sometimes you can't force people to buy <laughs> and at the same time you can't stop them. Mm -hmm. So you have to be patient. You have to be patient that sometimes they, they won't buy even if you have something which is awesome. Maybe sometimes it won't, mm -hmm. it won't have someone to buy. So you have to be patient and you have to wait for people to like it. All right, and now let's talk, let's talk deeply about the Anjan fashion creations. You, you do so much. There's bags, there's shoes, mm. laces and the like. Mm. What else do you do? I also do home decors. All right. Those are curtains. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, other than home decors? I think only fashion and home decors. Right. Mm -hmm. That is the clothes, outfits? Yeah, yeah. The, and the bags, shoes, the, the bags. hoods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, should, you should do hoods? Yes, I do hoods. All right. Mm -hmm. we'll, get to, we'll get to have a look at some of them that she has done. And of course, get to see, probably you want to buy one. You'll get to see where to find her. And you talked about when you are launching out from home all the way to you know, your shop. Probably you can just first of all tell us where you based at. I'm, be, I'm based at Moshada, mm -hmm. Ruaka Town. All right. Hey, Ruaka it's not, Town. Far, uh -huh. not far from there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when looking at the place and the location where you need to place, what mm -hmm. are some of the things that you need to consider? First, you have to consider the location, mm -hmm. the market, the security, the people around, and at the same time, the competition, mm -hmm. your competitors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, of course, we all know that the market is really flooded yeah. with these Ankara designs. Mm -hmm. We yeah. have quite a number and a significant number of them, and it talked about sustainability in the market. Mm -hmm. The business and the sustainability bit of it where should we emphasize on? Like, come say, Kohomata could launch out. Where should we really emphasize on? I think you, you have to do you. You have to, first of all, start with that thing you do best. Mm -hmm. that, that will help you grow. Because for me, when I, I, I realized I, I'm, I'm good at dresses and stops, mm -hmm. is only and another. That's what I started with. Then the rest I've come introducing. So do that thing that you do best. It will always keep you there. What did you begin with exactly? I Just the clothes? Yeah, the clothes, the tops, mm -hmm. then the bags and the hood I have introduced later. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a progress that you It's a progress. Making. You mm -hmm. don't just do everything at once. Right. You take time and when you see maybe the market is not well, maybe you remove some, you add. You and that's how the business works. Yeah, that's how you it works. You get some, you remove some, you do away with some, you bring in new. Mm -hmm. All right, I, in the aspect of bringing in something new, mm -hmm. there are things that we need to look at. Yeah. And especially when someone is trying to think of like the design, because people nowadays, people clad, clad these things, they yeah. wear them. Sure. And people even buy these bags to put mm -hmm. their stuff on. And things are changing, especially in the market, mm -hmm. with the ban of nylon papers. Yeah. How is the market for the bags? I think it's, it's amazing. Can I we compare with clothes? Mm, no, uh -huh. I think bags are fast moving. All right. Because it's one one thing is it's beautiful, and when people you can wear it even when you are casual, mm -hmm. you can wear it when you are official, you can do it. So for bags, I can say the industry of bag is growing more than compared to the clothes. All right, let's talk about the clothes part of it because we have men and 
the female side mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when, when someone comes to you and says, this is exactly what I want, mm -hmm. is there an opportunity for advice from yes, the designer? there is. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you'll come, like a client comes with a picture and they're like, I want exactly like this. Forgetting that we d they don't have the same body size, they won't look the same. Right. So if you don't deliver, mm -hmm. the client will bring it on you. Hey. Like, you didn't do it, yeah. but they don't have the same body. Even if I do an outfit that exactly look that way, if she wears, if he or she wears it, it won't look that way because they don't have the same body size, the height, the skin color. So I think people need to change like their mind. Mm -hmm. They need to, to do themselves. Do are, are what we borrowing so much of? I from think outside? we are doing it so much. Mm -hmm. People are borrowing so much, and it's not good because, and that's why so many times designers mm -hmm. lack opportunities to get creative actually. yeah yeah because mm -hmm. they would say they didn't deliver i told them to do this and i even gave them the picture but it's not this it's not like what i, I told them so people need to change people mm -hmm. need to do themselves people need to look at their body size mm -hmm. the skin color the everything just do yourself do you think to me embrace was a like people who are creative right now like to come up with new ideas in terms of the design or rather we want the same to borrow from outside and bring them on board i think for me i've tried to 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 introduce mine mm -hmm. to avoid borrowing because mm -hmm. it's not good sometimes to copy mm -hmm. everything you can copy some details but not everything yeah so right. many mm -hmm. people are borrowing so much all right, but they, uh, I don't know, I don't know why it usually happens, even from the cake industry. I've had people, we have interviewed and people bring in, you know, those, those two screenshots, like, but they, can you do this for me? Well, it's not bad anyway, but let's have people from our own uh, entrepreneurial field get to be creative enough and trust you me, they can make big, big time things. So, Anne, l let's talk about the two, the two year span. If you compare how the, turn, the turnover, rather the profits from then and now, what would be the range that you'll give that it was I think it's a make a big difference mm -hmm. from how I started because that time you have to, you know, that period of a business, the incubation mm -hmm. period of a business for it to grow, for it to go through the processes of growing people to know you. I think as per now, people have realized and they know me mm -hmm. and I can say it's doing well right, compared, so we say, yeah. Yeah, compared to how I started, mm -hmm. I can say it's headed okay, somewhere. For, for you, for you, and business wise in terms of earning, mm -hmm. how is the business, in terms of you personally, in terms of the profits? I think they were low. Mm -hmm. And I could struggle sometimes even to pay rent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now I think sometimes I'm like, I need to write down clients because there are many. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, oh. mm -hmm. That's an awesome and a big deal. So if you're thinking of launching on the day, fashion and diesel, well, you need to rethink before you even launch out some of the things that you need to do. Be clear and authentic. And Talking about uh, the things that you've been making, I don't know whether the clip is ready. We can have a look probably. But as they are getting ready, when you compare yourself with other designers, what are some of the things that you see yourself outstanding with? I think for me first is the choice of material. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I usually go for the things that people don't see. Because right. in, in, in our culture or in our country, people like being the same. Like if I see you with an Akitenge, I, I want like Ile Alex, mm -hmm. like, but for me, I want that thing that people don't see it. If you you take months before you see my material, mm -hmm. so for me, I've always been looking forward to make something different, mm -hmm. and at the same time to deliver, to do it myself. Because you will find so many designers; mm -hmm. they are not the one who teach. They pay, they pay other people, and they take the credit of this is my brand and stuff. But they haven't sweat for mm -hmm. it. Right. And for me, I thank God, like, I do it from scratch, mm -hmm. yeah, everything. All right, L let's talk about what we are having right now on set. And I'd like to begin with this, and of course, and but there's some few things inside. Well, when designing such kind of bag, where do you begin with? Where, where, should, we, where should we even focus on primarily? I think, one, you have to, to measure, because mm -hmm. bags have different sizes. Mm -hmm. You have to, if it's small, mm -hmm. medium, or big, you have to measure the length, the width. You have to even know the, what you're going to put inside the zip, everything. You have to plan before you stitch everything. You mm -hmm. have to put everything on details. All right. And looking at it, it's quite uh, some sort of an African design compared to what you're having right there. It's a bit different, kid of yeah. But now, these, compared to that, what are some of the things that you'd say, like, I need, I need to change? 
I think to blending materials, because sometimes people don't want it the same material. Mm -hmm. They will say combined, mix. I think even the arrangement of patterns mm -hmm. matters. Right. Mm -hmm. So even the arrangement of patterns yes. matters? Yeah. According to your client or according to you as the designer? According to me, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, that's a good deal. I, I'd like you just to hold up onto that so as we can show the guys at home. Th this is totally different from what we've just seen. Yeah. And w what's this on the other side that has just popped out? This is acts as a zip. Mm -hmm. Instead of that's the zip. zip, instead of putting a zip, uh -huh. you put this thing. Mm -hmm. When you want to open, you just pull these things. Then mm -hmm. you put your things here. Okay, can you just illustrate it, can you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you, you put your stuff here, mm -hmm. then you pull it. So from like the outside, let, let me just have a look. So from the outside, probably just to try and illustrate for just a minute. Mm. So this is how it's supposed to be. Then yeah. I pull it yeah. this way. Yeah. All right, then we come all the way to this other side. Or where mm -hmm. do we go to? The center. Oh, at the center. Mm -hmm. There is one. So yeah. you just put the yeah. stuff here. Mm -hmm. So once you remove, then, then you yeah. put back. You put back, all then right. it comes back to the design. All right, that's a good one. That's a good one. So if you're thinking to buy one for your girlfriend, please come over. It's as good as it is. How much is this? It's 1500 Wow, 1500 All right. <laughs> I hear someone say he's not a girlfriend, but it's okay. You can still buy for your wife anyway. <laughs> it's, it's far much worth it. So this, this is just 1500 If you wish. How much is this? 12 1200 why, why the difference? Because if you... Here, mm -hmm. you have so many patterns, like you have to put the right. plain fabric, mm -hmm. then you have to put another fabric which is inside, there's a pocket, but for this, it's only one fabric. All right. Yeah, so it, the price will differ. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Of weight, how much can this carry? Mm, five kg. Five kg? Yeah. And about this? This one seems to be like... This is big, uh -huh. and but the, the, the size can hold, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, this is a good one, this is a good one. All right, let's talk about the hoods and the hoods and the like, all those that people you, stop, you, talk, about, you talk about. The hoods are now taking preeminence in the market, mm -hmm. and you've seen quite a number of people buying them. Yeah. How much, how much do they go for? 2,500 mm -hmm. per piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but of late, the market, I think it's going down, because mm -hmm. they were introduced and people have been doing them. So people faked the hoods. And oh, okay. So they could fake them. They could buy the cheap materials. They could buy the cheap hoods, and they make. Mm -hmm. They sell at a cheap price. Uh, what, what's that cheap price? Like two hundred. And for me, Hood. I'm selling it at twenty five hundred. Mm -hmm. So for 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 so many people, they would go for the two hundred. And my twenty five, <laughs> I remain with it. But if you compare, uh -huh. it won't last for two hundred. When you wash it mm -hmm. three to four times, the material is out. The hood is faded. I would prefer you. Cheap is expensive. Oh, oh, thank you for saying cheap is expensive. <laughs> why do you think most people prefer cheap, cheap products? It's really, I don't, don't know, know why. In Kenya or something. I don't know why. Because if someone asks me how much goes for a hood, I'm like 2500 and they're like, what? And for me, I'm buying a good quality. Mm -hmm. I buy the hood at 1000 I I undo it. Because you have to undo the hood. You have to put the material, best mm -hmm. material. Then you have to stitch it again. All right. Yeah. So it's workload. There is work to be done. So mm -hmm. people don't see the work. They see, they will tell you this hood is 100 gikomba. I'll just go. But not putting in their mind that they are not the best. All right. Well, consider quality. When you're thinking of buying any design product or any other fashion product, well, I'd like us to have a look at a particular clip uh, that we had prepared for what uh, Anne does as we try and talk about more on what she does. I don't know if the clip is ready. We can just take a look at it. This is just part of it. To explain about the shoes, probably can just try and focus. Just hold on to there. This is just for the man that you're doing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about this. This is a print fabric, mm -hmm. and it's also African. Mm -hmm. It's African print with a Chinese collar, <coughs> and it costs 2000 Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just the shirt? Yeah. All right. What about the trouser? You do? No, not mm -hmm. yet. All right. Yeah. Right. But still, you're thinking of enjoying yeah, it yeah. the same? in the near future. All right. Let me ask. When, you, when you're doing these, have you ever considered about the wedding occasions and the like? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think most people are doing African things mm -hmm. during their wedding, mm -hmm. during everything. I think every occasion, they have to be an African thing mm -hmm. somewhere. 
-hmm. Yeah, so for me, I think that's something that has encouraged me to do more of African outfits, mm -hmm. to get clients and mm -hmm. to get my market. All right, uh, probably you can just hold on just for a moment right there. Rather, we can just talk about the shoe. Mm -hmm. uh, you do the entire part of the shoe or is just the shoelaces? The shoelaces. Mm -hmm. I buy the shoe, mm -hmm. then I, I do the laces, I, I cover them with Ankara fabric. All right. Yeah. So do you consider the pattern, as you said, from this one? Yes, you do, because you have to consider the color. Because mm -hmm. you, you don't have to do a dull color on a black shoe. It has to be bright. All right. Yeah, it has to go in hand with the color of the shoe. So it has also to, to go hand in hand yeah. with the color it that you're blending with. It has to match. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what Anne has been doing, and we, we really approach uh, such kind of people who are launching into the market, trying to look at some of the things that you know, they're venturing into. And as we said, well, economy, any economic country that has to grow, it has to nurture its entrepreneurs. Uh, do you think we have really been, uh, entrepreneurs have really been nurtured in the country? Have they been given an open space for them to grow? Not fully, because mm -hmm. if you look at how people are taking it, they are like personal. You have like to, to find your own thing, find mm -hmm. your own ways of doing it. Because you, if you wait for maybe something to come out, maybe a fashion show, big one for maybe people to make it, it will never happen or maybe you'll never have the space to make yourself known. Mm -hmm. Maybe there are, so those people are up there. Mm -hmm. So for you, as you are growing, you have to find something to do, something unique about yourself, mm -hmm. stand that, do that, and eventually it will grow. All right, I'd like us to have just a, a view of what Anne has been doing live on studio. Let's just have one of the models probably just to try and see and of course show you what exactly she does. Even we, I know we just watched the, the pictures, but it's good for us to have a look at what she does. You can just come over and we have a look at what she's doing. And this is just one of the things that you've been yes, doing? Yes, mm -hmm. This is a maxi skirt. All right. With Pizza? a belt, maxi skirt. Maxi skirt, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. With a belt mm -hmm. and a bow tie. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, oh, even the bow tie is an African design, you yes. know? So how, how, how do you design that, the bow tie? It's just simple. You just mm -hmm. have to measure the neck mm -hmm. of the client, then the size of the bow tie. And that's it? That's it. Then you put the elastic thing. Mm -hmm. That's it. But ladies never do used to wear the bow ties. You may venture to market size. <laughs> I think... The need for like so many maxis mm -hmm. are being worn by shirts with shirts with right. collars, mm -hmm. and they find the need to have something, mm -hmm. yeah, something African mm -hmm. attached. Right. And that's how Bolte for Ladies came out. All right, that's amazing, and we applaud the kind of work you're doing. So let's talk about uh, from head to toe. How much is this? Or rather, let's just talk about the, the skirt itself. How much is it? Eighteen hundred. It along with the tie, you all. Inclusive of the bow tie, bow tie yes. comes 2,000. 2,000. Yes. Wow, that's an amazing deal. And we applaud such kind of things that you are venturing into. Well, Anne, we are coming to the end of this interview. Mm -hmm. Let just give us an opportunity to tell us where can we find you on social media? My Facebook page, and John Fashion Creation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, if someone wanted probably to just come to your shop, visit, where exactly is your location? Mm, Moshada. Mm -hmm. Shada. So we just come and say, Mushada, we are dropped and that's air At there. the marketplace. At the if marketplace. You, if you say, <laughs> weko e kwa soko. Kwa soko. Yeah. All right. So, so many thanks, Anne, for making time. Yeah. Just give us your parting shot, then we call it a day. Okay. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for having me here. It's a pleasure. I'm proud and I'm grateful. And to everyone out there who would like to do it, who have a passion for something, just do it. Just step out there. You can do it. If I did it and I'm here, you still can do it. It's possible. Yeah. All right. That's it from Anjuan Fashion Creations. And while the venture is right, things are getting better and better each and every single day. You don't want to miss out in the entrepreneurial market. Well, they are saying there's so much of retrenchment that is happening in the country, which is, of course, a fact. What can you do in the business that can earn you something? That is it that I leave you with. My name is Karanja Alex. It's always a pleasure to have you every Monday through Friday, 7 to 10 a.m. Barry Moses is coming up next. See you then. Oh, awesome, 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 awesome. Mato.